guys. We are now at the BYD Dolphin launch. Yeah. So this is one of the cars that they put on display with a full camo on. So you can't really see the design properly. Yep. And look at that setup, man. We are here at the new wing. Good morning. Good morning. Wow. So there's a queue to register. Yeah. So we are in the launch hall. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the moment where we will redefine the way we move, the way we live, and the way we embrace the future. Now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the star of our show, the all-new BYP Dolphin. Okay, good morning guys. Uh, we are now going on a test drive. Uh, it will be a short session to somewhere along the Duke Highway there. And so we will try to experience as much as we can uh, during this time. Yep. The lane keep is very strong. Let's try this bend. Okay, we are at driver change point. So based on this very short session at the moment, um, it's pretty good. Um, you know, for this price, it's actually and that range, right? I mean, it's like, wow, you know, you're going into the Eto3 range. Uh, a lot of the EVs are around that range yeah but then we don't get the size like what other brands and models are offering lah auto hold is good saves me some energy from stepping on a brake let's try going uphill although it's yeah EV you know where everybody claims it very fast to have that very fast uh, acceleration and all but well this is a city car you don't need that fast acceleration all you need is to be smooth so we are above the speed limit uh, wind noise is very apparent coming in from the side the wind mirrors area Yes. So today we are looking at the BYD Dolphin. We have just completed the, I mean, we 
been for the launch this morning and then we completed the drive. Uh, so now I'm going to give you a round. So this is what they call the Atlantis grey colour. Yeah. Uh, this is also the premium extended range. So what is the premium extended range? Premium extended range comes with a bigger battery at 60.48 kilowatt hour and also will give you a range of 427 kilometer based on the WLTP and okay let's take a look at the front where the motor is even without the Okay, so this is like the BMW. You have to pull twice to open, apparently. Yes, pull twice to open. So, this doesn't come with the hood. <coughs> The lifter hood thingy. So what you see here is it's a permanent magnet synchronized motor, single motor for this car, this dolphin. It's a front wheel drive. Maximum power that you'll get from here is uh, for the premium extended range is 150 kilowatt. Uh, maximum torque is about 310. 310 maximum torque for the premium extended. Uh, on the Standard version is only 180. So it's a bit slow, but it's okay to for use in the city. Because the standard one will have only 44.9 kilowatt hour battery size. So which will give it a 340 kilometer range. Alright. So from the side. Overall length is 4920, wheel pace is 2700, and the height of this car is actually 1570. It's about the same height like the city hatchback. And looking at the front, your width is 1770. It's not too narrow, it's not too, not too wide. It's just nice, it's, a, it's just a nice B segment size hatchback. As for the wheels, it is 17 inch alloys for the premium extended. So for the premium extended, you have two different wheels, wheel rim design. Uh, tires are from Ling Long, which is 205.50.17. On the standard range, you only get 16 inch alloy and uh, 19550 16 tires which is also from Ning Long. Uh, both of them are comfort tires. And okay, let's take a look at the back. Power button to release the tailgate. There's no automated tailgate. Uh, this is a button. So this is a uh, Hatch for you to open just in case you need to open it from inside. And you see this red thing to help you open from the back. I mean from inside here. So boot space slightly bigger than the My V, uh, but not as deep. If you have this cover on, if you remove this cover, it's deeper. And this is where you store your shoes, your charging cables, and like Uncle Wes likes to say, this is where he will put your gold bars. Yeah. And tonneau cover, which you can remove and also keep at below here. Because it's not as white. Not like some cars, it's pretty white, so you can't put inside. Yeah. So this is when very useful when you need to carry stuff. Seat is 60-44 for the rear seats. You can put down so you get more more space 
There you go. It's almost flat. Just look at the side view. There. So from the side, it looks like that. Uh, you can carry all this longer stuff. Lah. So we put this up. Center has a armrest with a cup holder. So all these models, the standard, the dynamic standard and the premium extended range comes with artificial leather. Yeah, and it's very soft, very nice. So for the rear, this is the leg room. I am 172cm tall. My head is almost touching the, the roof line and also this part because this is where this cover rolls and keep inside here when you open the sunroof yeah so the front seat is placed based on my driving position so it gives you about a lot of space yeah a lot of space and you get one USB A and one USB C charger one cup holder here another photo holder here now space for you to put your phone same on the other side power windows all around front and back so this is how the front cabin looks like oh uh, yeah this part is flat so you actually for the person who is sitting in the middle you don't have to be like put your legs up and you don't feel like you're squatting at it so it's quite comfortable for a long drive for here, the front. Yeah, this is how it looks like the front. Small screen for the driver. It is placed on the steering column. So every time you move the steering, you pull the steering as close to you or put it up or put it down. The meter is there. You can still see it. Unlike those fixed meter when, when you whenever you, you put up the, the steering wheel at a higher angle or lower angle, then you 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 block you from a certain view that you need to see lah. like for me it normally blocks the the signal indicator so yeah but then I mean I know where I'm, I'm gonna turn lah you know when I, I put on the signal, signal indicator so as you see the the dash design right the aircon vents on the right and the left actually looks like the real likes of the dolphin yeah and there's a small compartment where over here right now they're putting in they, they leave the walkies here so there's a small compartment there lah. it's not very big i'll be holes for you to put your oh, the wireless charger is here yeah wireless charger is here just that's just a normal normal tray for you to put your keys or your touch and go smart tag or whatever there's no center armrest space here but over here in the bottom, you get this small little space, ah, you know, but you can you can put your bigger item uh like bags or whatever. This is only for you to put your small item, your power bank or your additional phone or your smart tag if you don't want to put if you don't want to put up here. This is nice over here. Bottle holder probably can put a 500 ml but not a not a one liter bottle. Uh, this thing. This thing here looks a bit like the, the one that you can see on the Tesla. Steering wheel looks a bit like Tesla, except with more buttons. You know, right and left to control your this is your to control the screen. Let's see, let's turn this on, turn the car on. Why is not turning on? Uh, I need to step on the brake to turn the car on. Okay, so car is on. Let's turn on some aircon. Oops. Temperature, put it to low. <laughs> Fan speed to 3. Okay, this is the screen. Right now, this is showing you the regeneration mode is on high so to change here just pull down 
Now, yeah, standard high. We only got two mode. Uh, drive mode is on sport. So to change the drive mode is here. You have sport, you have echo, you have normal. We went on a test drive just now. We started on sports. I along the way I put to eco. I put to normal. Uh, under has, under heavy acceleration, every mode feels the same, except when you are cruising. Then on eco mode, it feels heavier. It feels slug more sluggish, less uh, responsive. Yeah, less responsive. So when you put to sports as usual, it'll be more responsive. There's also function for you to change your steering weight from comfort to sport, which will make it will makes it heavier. I will prefer it heavier is because because as you drive faster, a lighter steering wheel will it will more likely to you know feel very twitchy and especially when you're driving faster. I mean you give input right. If you are not that smooth, if you gives a big big movement, yeah, on the car. Curve compartment quite deep. This is where you control your mirrors, your power windows for the front and back. You only have unlock lock and unlock button here on the driver's side. There's none on the center, so it's a bit inconvenient. If you if you as the driver goes down to tapa or anything, then you have your passenger at the side here, you know. They need to climb over to lock and unlock whenever you come back. I mean, or you walk away or then you come back. Uh Zain's here. I feel like this this part will collect a lot of dust. <laughs> but this is plastic and it's not non-reflective. So it's very good. You know, you don't get the glaring on a, on your windscreen when you drive, you know. The materials here, this is soft leather-like material, plastic. This is a leather. This thing is plastic. It's plastic, but it looks like like some kind of fabric, linen fabric, yeah. Speakers here. Okay, this is your gear shifter so on normal cars you have the stick you have this knobs some cars will give you the knobs some will give you the big chunky thingy that you need to pull or whatever but this one is just up and down little thing just like that the mode drive this is to give whenever to use whenever you're on, on very loose surface or muddy surface uh, it's very useful in snow as well, but we don't have snow, so yeah, sandy surface, muddy surface, slippery surface. This is the time you use it. This is your regeneration mode, as I showed you just now. Aircon, you have auto aircon. Uh, you, this is to on off the aircon. This is the temperature. This is the fan speed, yeah, fan speed, and this is the volume button. Not, not easy. Not exactly button, but it's a volume rocker. I should say that. Uh, yeah. Sound system is pretty good. So another button here. Is to change the volume. This is for you to set your speed whenever you put on auto cruise control. It has intelligent cruise control, which will help assist you in keeping the car in the middle it has lane keep control as part of its um it does features so as for ADAS features the full suit i mean the full extended range comes with almost everything actually it's the same with the dynamic standard mode so basically it's the same car with different trim and smaller wheels, you know, and also cheaper lah, at 99,000. As for the extended range, you'll be paying 125,000. Yeah, which is still one of the best priced EVs around. Size wise, 
It's about the size of a Honda City. Slightly bigger than an Ativa. Slightly smaller than a Honda City. It's between there, but yeah, when, if you put them side by side, you'll probably see them as close as possible to the Honda City hatchback. So only the premium extended range will have the panoramic glass roof. The others, especially the standard range, basically there's only two models, dynamic standard range and premium extended range. Interior-wise, it's all the same. Uh, all grey and black for the premium version, which you see here, the grey and the black. Uh, the one that I drove actually is just the standard version. No wonder I see all the other cars like a bit faster. But yeah. Uh, well, it, that's how they arrange it. Yeah, so here's the sunroof. Uh. You get to see everything. Actually, once the sunroof is open, you actually feel more airy. It feels like the car is bigger. Uh, but it's. If you can, you just get get it tinted with some UV protection. You know, less heat coming through. But other than that, it's darkened, so it's not that hot actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. This is cool. I thought this is a. Oh my God! Handle from my hands, but here is where you store your sunglasses. Oh, okay. My car, this is where the part you put your sunglasses but it's so small that there's nothing can go in. But this is pretty big. I think Oakley's may go in. <laughs> but yeah. So this is the same like the Alto 3. You press here, you change the orientation. You can press here as well on the screen to change the orientation. But once you use like the CDs, quite solid. Everything else is plastic, yeah, which I actually don't mind. I actually quite like this car. Price really well. Your price are really good. How I wish I can, you know. Maybe you should start planning for one. Replace my car. <laughs> so yeah. This is your premium extended range with one of the design for the rims. Uh, once you got another version of the premium extended range, this is a standard version. So there's no sunroof. There's no sunroof. 16 inch rims, 195, 60, 16. struts for for the car, for the front, uh, rear is torsion beam. So it is the same one like the other one. Uh, there you go. So this is the other rim design for the premium extended. Looks like an embossed rim, right? Everything else the same inside. So it's black and grey. This is yeah, so this is the two-tone trim for the standard version. Cream colored leather seat and uh, black trim at the side. Everything else the same. It's just only this, lah, the trim, the color. Lah. And also the rim size and the battery size. Yeah. So I guess that's it guys for our very short review. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.